Um, right? Okay, it's, it's working. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Double CF comp. Hmm? This now. Okay. Uh, More. Here. It's fine. Okay. Nice presentation here. Yeah. Hey. Good. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for something special today? <laughs> I'm happy to present this to you. So my name is Eric, this is Livio. Um, first of all, we would like to keep you a bit quiet because this is a live demo. It will be difficult if there is too much noise. We hope the best. So, hi Livio, how are you? Hi, uh, Eric, how are you doing? Fine, fine. Um, I heard you did a wonderful, nice little project lately and uh, I'm eager to know what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. I, I built a new application which is built in Node.js. It's uh, called Technology Radar and it's super cool, but it only works on my machine and I want to show it to my colleagues. So oh, you probably need oh. to publish it, right? Yes, yes. So uh, how, how do we do it again? Yeah, you remember last time it was really, really cumbersome to... Did you order a VM? Uh, no, I didn't order didn't you VM. You started by ticketing last time? Ah. No, I, for I forgot. Uh, uh, let's do it now. Anyway, come on, let's order uh, a ticket. It will be difficult. I mean, last time it was cumbersome. Huh? So, first of all, you need to order a, a VM, yeah. Um, ticketing system. Exactly, yeah. Filling out some Excel. Ah, it will be ah, at least two days if everything goes right. Huh? Well, I mean, two days is not so bad, it's okay, then I can publish it, right? Not so sure, not so sure. Uh, did you think about, you just get an IP here. Yeah. It's, what's the next step? Oh, right, I just get an IP, but I don't want to connect with an IP that's hard to remember, so I need yes. a DNS, right? Another ticket, here yeah. we go. Oh, <laughs> okay, no. seven more days, sorry. So, so it won't be for... For the Open Stack Summit this, this year, it won't be it. I uh, think we have to wait a bit longer. Uh, how long do you stay? I mean, we have nine uh, days. Is that OK? Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe not. not. Maybe not. Uh. OK. Are you so, sure you're through now? But yeah, now, now we're done, right? OK, we have one IP. We reserved it over DNS. What's next? Oh, the SL. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. I, I want to have it secure, so I need uh, an yeah, SL. I don't want to log right? into your system and being kind of uh, spreading out my password and clear text, even if it's internal in the company. I mean, this is, yeah. ah, no, you don't want to do this. You want to have SSL at least. Yeah, so. <sighs> yeah, that Here takes we go. 11 days. 11 days. Are you it's okay with this? No, I think s this is usual. I mean, we come from a big IT company or let's say a corporation where IT is pretty big and I think it's usual to have this kind of process in place. So is there any easier solution for this and uh, faster solution? I, I, I struggled. All these silos are sequential. I mean, you need the IP address to get a DNS. If you have the DNS, you get the SSL certificate. This is how the process is. And if you don't believe me, okay, Google, for IT silo. Did you try OpenStack Mate? Yeah. Uh, OpenStack Mate, let's try it. Okay, Google, connect me to OpenStack Mate. Okay, let's get the test version of OpenStack Mate. I am the Roche AI beep beep. Ask me anything beep beep. Can you create me a new virtual machine? What image should the virtual machine have? Technology Radar. Which version should I use? 1.0. How do you want to call it? TR. How large should the virtual machine be? Medium. Do you want to resolve TR over DNS? Yes. Successfully created the virtual machine. You can access your VM through tr.service.rms.devops.roche.com in approximately two to five minutes. You can now go rave in Berlin and drink Berliner Luft for two weeks and you're still faster than the IT. Yes, this wow. is this is nice. This sounds awesome. So, 
what did we do? Basically, we did a process of 11 days in just one minute using the Google Home. So that's quite awesome, right? Um, and maybe some people of you are quite interested in what's happening in the background. So I will, I will explain it for you for short. So basically, we have the OpenStack. Note here, that's in our internal um, network. So we don't want to expose our OpenStack in the internet. The problem is the Dialogflame API, which is communicating with our Google Home, that's in the internet. So um, Dialogflow has uh, support with web, uh, web hooks. Basically, we could set up a web hook, but this doesn't go through, right? Because we are in the internet and uh, it doesn't connect. So what we need to do, uh, we need to send a web hook to a server which communicates with our OpenStack API and sends the correct, um, uh, correct parameters and stuff like that. But still, we're in the internet. So how did we solve this? Basically, what we've used is Adafruit. Adafruit provided us an MQTT server, which is basically a pub and sub um, server, a public and subscribe. And it's based on TCP, so that's why we were able to communicate with our internet network. And I also used this dialog forwarder, which basically just forwards every message to this MQTT server. Then it goes to this uh, other server, which is communicating with the OpenStack API. Uh, you could also probably use, instead of the dialog flow forwarder, uh, the Google Cloud functions. So, the wait a moment. Maybe there are some skepticals in the room. Oh yeah, we didn't show the product. <laughs> we didn't show, we didn't show. So let's see if we are still logged in. So we are connecting through VPN to our company. Here it's a bit slow to load because the uh, first instance we have is in Santa Clara in California. We will see that we have no one instance. It got created over the whole process. It's called TR, it has a floating IP and um, hopefully we can resolve this over, unfortunately I'm not secured, it's a self-signed certificate for today. We ordered one because uh, security still doesn't believe that we can just request certificates um, as a self-service, so this is the next step. But basically, this is a Southworks technology radar customized by Livio, which is deployed in, let's say, two minutes. Yeah, approximately two minutes. Good. So Let's back to the presentation. Exactly. So this is your part. Good. Um, so exactly what we did here, uh, it's not so technical uh, because we have uh, some resistance in our company, for example, um, and a big IT company, you have several cloud or private cloud instances, and OpenStack would be the third one. So we wanted to prove that using the proper tools integrated with the proper REST API, we can do magic. For our senior leadership yesterday, we did the same presentation and they really liked it. For them, it was kind of a magic. Automating a process taking 11 days in several minutes, it was like, wow, how much money will this save us? Important here, of course, as a developer or, uh, let's say, a team, you don't want to interact with a Google Home. You rather would like to use a nice API in your script using Terraform or Ansible or what's your flavor of choice is. So I would just say that in general uh, we are eager to know in use uh, uh, the OpenStack to uh, provide self-service to our R&D. Some special thanks. Uh, without this, this presentation wouldn't have been possible. The first one is Kensingly Hightower who did a similar presentation staging up a Kubernetes cluster in Google. So he said, and he stated, I think it's so easy that you can ask for it. And this is exactly, it's so easy to create a VM that you can ask for it. So this was a message. Other than that, uh, Martin, who provided the digital ocean droplets so we could set it up, and uh, Rasmus, who did a nice picture. 
Exactly. And before we wrap up, I would like to make a reminder. OK, Google, remind me. What's the reminder? The reminder is uh, to. OK, is. <laughs> when do you want to be reminded? Stop. OK, Google, stop. The, okay. No problem. Nothing's been set. OK, Google, set up a reminder. What's the reminder? Send this video to all IT managers who think that offshoring costs less than automation. Sure, send this video to all IT manager who sings that soaring costs less than automation. When do you want to be reminded? Next week. Sorry, I can only set reminders for a specific point in time. When next, do you want to be reminded? Next week, Monday. <laughs> OK, what time? 10 a.m. Sure, I'll remind you on Monday at 10 a.m. Great, thanks. So, not yet, one last thing. OK, Google, connect me to OpenStack, mate. Sure, here's the test version of OpenStack, mate. I am the Roche AI beep beep. Ask me anything, beep beep. Remove all the running instances. Are you sure you want to delete all instances? Yes. This is what I call digital transformation. So it's gone. That's it. Thank you. OK, abort mission. <laughs> Good. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.